Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Atmos character of our world around us and we will discuss the uh, phenomenon in the Polish fantasy literature. Unfortunately still didn't trans uh, it was translated uh, into a few uh, foreign languages like Russian, Hungarian, Ukrainian. Unfortunately uh, it was not translated into English yet but maybe in the future will change. Here I want to say something about the very productive Polish fantasy writer, Mr. Andrzej Pilipik, who was born in 1974, so it's still relatively not so old and very productive, what makes me happy. And I would like to kindly refer to his main uh, character, Jakub Wendrowicz. This character reflects folkloric conditions in uh, Polish East, especially nowadays Polish Southeast, the region of Lublin and Helm, these cities. And Jakub himself lives in Wojsławice, close to Stary Maidan. These are the names of the villages in which supposedly Jakub lives. Jakub is a very old person, specific one, with some supernatural ab abilities and he has uh, also many adventures and many professions. Exorcist, moonshine producer, uh, pensioner and many many others. He discovers his skills during his numerous adventures, very often crazy ones, and why I like these books? Because author in, within these fantasy books offers a lot of knowledge to uh, his readers, especially young ones, from such disciplines like archaeology or astronomy. Author himself, Mr. Pilipiuk, is educated archaeologist, but due to the fact that in Poland to work in some professions you need to be very well interconnected in in some um, actually associations so briefly you need to have you need to have good connections connotations to get employment into uh, your profession you were educated with so as author himself always claims in his biographies on the internet are that he is archaeologist by education but he was never uh, working he didn't work any single day in his profession but he offers in his novels a lot of knowledge from this discipline and astronomy he is personally interested in. Uh, it's maybe what well, we should say that due to the fact that Mr. Pilipiuk couldn't uh, work as archaeologist as he wanted to because of some social and economical um, situations in his country, maybe it was, and I think it was good for the Polish culture and literature because he contributed and he is still contributing really efficiently with a very original uh, way of writing and very original texts. First uh, story, short story about y Jakub Wendrowicz was published in 2001, so 21 years ago and since, since then nine books with him were published. In most cases, these books are the collections of short stories because somehow Mr. Pilipiuk feels well uh, when he writes short stories and it's easier for him. But I personally love them, of course. I love all stories about Jakub Wendrowicz. But personally, I enjoy more when the stories about Jakob are longer. Like, I would say, full-scale novel. There are not so many of them but there are due to the reason I mentioned because it seems that uh, Mr. Pilipiuk prefers to write short stories but the longer one in my humble longer ones in my humble opinion are better because then one can feel the world in which uh, main character Jakub Wendrowicz main hero of these stories is acting working living and doing many many things of course, the origin of this literary character, Jakub Wendrowicz, is 
um, deeply rooted in the folkloric traditions of Eastern Poland and maybe that's why Jakub became also popular because we have similar uh, folkloric traditions in the villages in Czech, Slovakia, uh, Eastern part of Central Europe and Hungary. He became popular there and let's hope that uh, in the future he, these texts, these novels, short stories will be translated into English and some other Western languages because I'm sure due to the humor of the author, author offers they are really funny. Load of knowledge from different disciplines like astronomy, archaeology, very useful for young readers because it it makes them interested and encourages them encourages them to study different uh, subjects. It's very good, and this shows that fantasy literature has many functions if it's properly written. Entertaining, of course, but also educational function. And I have to say what really also makes my heart happy when author writes, Mr. Filipiuk, he always explains also to the reader by giving very, very solid examples that socialist system, no matter what color it has, red, brown, green, like we have now in many countries, unfortunately, it, it never works. It's a pathology. And it, this I really appreciate that author writes openly about it and always gives very uh, good examples that illustrate uh, the real face of such approach to life, politics, economy and society. So Adventures of Jakub Vendrovich uh, by Andrzej Pilipiuk are the nice reflection of some aspects of uh, Polish and Central European we will say folkloric traditions. These books, despite the fact it's fantasy, offer good portion of knowledge from several disciplines like archaeology and astronomy and they offer good uh, collection of arguments against the worst uh, socio-political system that was ever created, so against socialism. That's why I warmly encourage all of you, if you can, to read, read such novels and meditate them and enjoy them at the same time. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.